Hey, it's Mike, Blackstone Valley Piano here. Um, back to repinning this keyframe. Uh, we repinned the front rail earlier, and we just did the balance rail. And um, we have a pin press for doing that. And the benefits of the pin press is that all the pins are pressed in the same height, the same angle, and there's no damage to the plating because it presses them in instead of hammering them in. It's quick, it's efficient, it's very neat. So, I mean, as far as repinning, you simply just install pneumatic. Press down the handle and it presses them in. So, again, they're all the same height, same angle, and they're all perpendicular to the keyframe because this fixture was made very accurately. So, let's talk about pins for a second. A little bit of a history on pins. These are pins, they're nickel plated or chromium plated brass. Okay, these in my opinion are the best. Then there's what's available now, which is steel pins, either chromium or nickel plated, meaning the core metal is steel. These are older pins in that this one is solid aluminum, these are solid brass, so that would be for the front rail, that would be for the balance rail. So what we have for replacement options is we can get these pins, which are solid brass, but they're not available in all the sizes we need to do a replacement keyframe or replace the pins on this keyframe. They're just not available when we make a new keyboard and can control the pin diameters and stuff, I will choose the brass ones. There's another newer pin design out, it's the same diameters and heights, but they're aluminum anodized. And then there's the replacement steel pins, which come in the different sizes that we need to do this piano. Now the problem with replacing the original brass plated pins with the newer steel pins is that brass bends easily from side to side. So when you need to do some minor adjustments with the brass pins, they bend easily. Well, the steel pins do not. So what it does is, is instead of the steel bending, because it's so strong, what it'll do is if you say we're to bend it this way, it'll elongate or enlarge the hole. Instead of just bending at the base, the steel is stronger than the wood, it'll distort the wood. So I don't like using the steel pins, but I have to in a lot of instances. So to overcome that problem of elongating the holes, we've actually employed two corrective measures to the repinning of this keyframe to help in preventing that elongation of the hole that the pin is in. So sometimes the only way to tell these pins apart is with a magnet. See, these are brass, so the magnet's not going to stick to them. These are steel, so the magnet will, will stick to them. So again, nickel plated or chromium plated brass, nickel or chromium plated steel, solid aluminum, solid brass, newer pins, brass core, plated aluminum anodized pins, steel pins. We've repinned the balance rail, front rail. Notice everything is nice and straight at the same angle. So now all we have to do is put punchings on. The plating is nice brand new. Pins are new, so what we'll have is, is less friction than we would with say something like that because with that softer metal exposed, it's not a hard, smooth surface as it is on that pin. So this creates a lot of friction at the point where the key balance hole is and at the point where the bushing is. That's repinning the keyframe. We'll replace the back rail cloth next.